Hi everyone, I'm Phil Wills once again for Following the Nerd here at Here's the Legends at W5 and I'm here with the other legend that is Martine Beswick. Martine, it's a pleasure to see you. How are Thank you? Thank you. I'm very well. Um, now, some of our followers probably may not know this, but for me personally, growing up with television, you were in From Russia with Love and one of the most memorable scenes ever in a Bond, early Bond film. I, first off, how did you get into acting and then how did you get into that part? Um, well, it's a long story, but I won't bore you with the long details. Um, basically, I went up for Dr. No, and when I went there, my friend at the time was Terence Young, and he said, no, 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 you don't have enough experience. Go off and get some experience, because I want to use you in my next film, which was from Russia with Love. And sure enough, which is actually quite rare when people say, I'm going to use you, you know, or I'd like to, he kept his word. So one of one of the lovely men. So that's how I. That's what happened. I literally, when he it came to sixty two, and he was mm -hmm. about to do it, and I got the part. Brilliant. Well, as, as I mentioned, you played the part of Zorba, um, one of the gypsy ladies involved in mm -hmm. the gypsy fight scene. On the screen, it looks well choreographed. It looks like a real. It looks like one of those real girly fist fights. What, was there a choreographer involved, or did you oh, have yeah. any input into the fight scene yourself? We had. We rehearsed for three weeks. I mean, literally did all the tumbling. Luckily, I mean, because I, I love to dance, mm -hmm. so I was really kind of a, quite athletic, actually. Not really athletic, but very much into dance. So it was easy for me, you know, it was easy for me. Um, and we rehearsed for three weeks with, and I can't remember who it was actually, who the stunt guy was. Anyway, mm -hmm. we rehearsed for three weeks, so we were ready to. <laughs> and it definitely on the screen, I mean, it looks totally amazing, the fight scene Well, the, thing, the other thing too is that Terence was really good about it because what he wanted was not just um, the camera sort of set up, mm -hmm. he wanted to use it because that's what was so brilliant about it because he used handheld camera. So he could go in and really get close-ups and get, you know, stuff. And it, that's why it was such a good fight because we'd rehearsed so much, then we could repeat and then he could come in with the with the, the handheld cameras really, you know, in. So it, that's why it worked. And the other part of the fact is that actually midway through the gypsy fight, you have this amazing action piece that just suddenly breaks open in front of the compound yeah. with bullets flying, explosions. I mean, were you actually involved in that or were you sort of just off to the side watching this sort of amazing thing unfold? You no, know, we were sort of off to the side. We were being, we were being saved for him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, from Russia with Love wasn't the uh, other Bond film you worked in. You also worked on Thunderball, mm -hmm. and you were brought back for it. And what was it like working on Thunderball? Um, well, again, this was Terence because mm -hmm. um, Cubby Broccoli and Harry Salzman, particularly Harry Salzman, the two producers, did not want. In fact, there was a rule: we do not use Bond girls twice. That was it, unless there was like you know there was mm -hmm. M or whatever yeah. or whoever you know the other ones, the regulars. And so when this came up, it was an island girl. And they kept saying, no, no, we're going to find someone else. And Terence said, don't be ridiculous. This is, she's an island girl. She's from Jamaica. You've got to use her. And he won. <laughs> <laughs> so I loved, and I love him for it. And he's just, he's just, he was one of my dear friends too, well, actually. Terence Young was a wonderful director. Oh. Um, and aside from wearing the Bond films, he directed probably one of my favorite war films of all time, Battle of Britain. Oh. And he was an amazing action director as well as people mm -hmm. director. Absolutely. Yeah, he was one, I loved him. I absolutely loved him. Adored him. Well, out of the Bond films that you worked on, um, which was probably most memorable, and what was it like working, obviously, you worked with Sean Connery in a number of scenes. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because Sean and I immediately had a rapport, but it was about, you know, nudge, nudge, <laughs> wink, wink, right? You know, it was so immediately that. And you can see it, it's interesting because you can see it in the photographs that we oh. took. Um, and then when we got to Thunderball, which is, was it two, three years later? I yeah, it was yeah. after Goldfinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we got to it, I mean, immediately it was like, no, 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 wink, wink again. You know, and we'd la have these laughs. I mean, he would, he would be dreadful because he'd be behind the camera giving me a line, and he'd be making faces. He'd be going like this. I was like, and I, and I, then I'd, I'd start laughing, and Terence would go, "Now, children, stop this, stop this." And I said, "It's his fault. He's doing it." So it was that kind of rapport. And between the three of us, there was a lot of mischief going on. Right, but. He was great. I really liked working with him because he was fun and we didn't have any kind of, there was no, you know, 
no one did this yeah. right now. <laughs> well, it definitely seems like from the extras and the DVDs and um, from the period of the filming, um, behind the scenes, everybody seemed to enjoy those early Bond films quite a lot. Mm. There was that jovial set. Um, they didn't realize, obviously, they didn't realize maybe the first two, but maybe, maybe Goldfinger, Thunderball onwards, that they were going to be such amazing commercial and global success. Thunderball was the zenith, actually, mm -hmm. because we were in Nassau for two months and the everyone from every newspaper and every magazine from around the world, I mean, there's Life and Look and Cosmopolitan and, and name it, they all came down. So it was just massive stuff. I mean, um, including, in, there were lots of people, lots of very rich people in their yachts who arrived down there and parents knew a few of them. So actually it's quite a funny thing because what he did was he got some of his friends to be extras, <laughs> problem. They came in and they sort of like arrived and they're in their jewels and their furs and they arrived, at, you know, they're taken to Paradise Island and they come in and they're, and the first night they're there and they're quite nice, but the next night they don't turn up. Right. But they're not, yeah, I'm sorry, they're not extras, they're mm -hmm. not, you know, they're just friends who have, so of course there's a little bit, there was a little problem with <laughs> <laughs> And we all kind of laughed about it. Terence was not happy about it, but there you go. Well, that's probably one of the joys of just filming there with friends on your own yeah. island sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, aside from the Bond movies, you also worked on Hammer Horror, mm -hmm. but you especially worked on one of my cult favourites of all time, really? One Million Years BC. Now, <laughs> everyone always remembers Ursula Andress, but for me, you were a brilliant... You mean you're talking, no, wait, 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 wait. Ursula wasn't in that one. Oh no, sorry, it was, uh, yeah. sorry, it was... Uh, uh, yes, Raquel. Uh, Raquel Wells, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Raquel Wells, who later went on to work on the uh, Three Musketeer films. Yes, I but, know. But uh, I, I never really got into Raquel Wells now, I was always in the Three Musketeer films. But you, on the other hand, were amazing in Six Million and the Woman in Years BC. You had the prehistoric monsters, you had the wonderful score, which was just wonderful for its time. Mm. What was it like working on that film? And well, I have to tell you, I mean, actually, I just saw a few weeks, well, a couple of weeks ago, mm. there was a documentary done on Ray Harryhausen, yes. who is one of my favourite people. He is so lovely. I was actually at his 90th birthday right. just two years ago, and he is just wonderful man. And so it was it was a privilege working with him mm -hmm. on that film because he actually showed me. He actually allowed me to see him working with these things. I mean, it was just. I was so excited. So you were with the actual models which he used to stop? I actually saw it afterwards, oh. not before, because before, <laughs> when we were actually doing mm -hmm. it, I mean, basically what would happen is that he, there would be, you know, he would be on a flatbed truck, uh -huh. and he's like going along, and we are with the spears and the yep. bits of, you know, going, killing people and trying to, you know, we're trying to kill the, the mm -hmm. pterodactyl or whatever it is that is flying around or the other monster. And then he puts it in afterwards. Mm -hmm. So really, that uh, it was quite funny actually, because I mean, there are times when we were all kind of like going, and there was nothing there. Yeah. And so it, a bit of giggling went on, and we had to kind of, you know, hold off. Um, it was a really lovely experience. Also, I fell in love on that film too. So there you go. You know, one of my big love. It was a big, big love, and it was instant, and I knew it was going to happen before it even happened. Brilliant. So, and I also loved Michael Carreras. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he was wonderful. <laughs> oh, what a man. I adored him, adored him. I loved, actually, I, the early um, films that I did, the producers and the directors were really wonderful, were really, really wonderful. So I had a good experience. I mean, I never had any of that sort of like nasty, you know, cult. Mm -hmm. That stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also worked in television mm -hmm. and you worked in Hammer Horror films, as I mentioned. Um, probably out of your whole career, really, which would you prefer working in television or films or. Well, I like both. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did. I mean, I really. I, the only thing, the only regret I have is that I didn't get a series. I mean, I wasn't. I, di I did pilots. Yeah. But then it didn't go or they changed the format or whatever. Um, I was once told that they couldn't have me because I was too sophisticated for American audiences. That really hurt. Because <laughs> that well, meant that I did not get my mm -hmm. series, you know. That I would love to have had was a series. But I did a lot of work with people who had series. And mm -hmm. in fact, what would happen is, like for instance, Heart to Heart and Robert Wagner, I, I worked with him about four or five times. And he'd call me up and he, they'd call me anytime they'd go, oh, get Marty. 
you know. So that was really nice, and it's the same thing with Six Million Dollar Man. Mm -hmm. With several of with several of the of the ones the shows that were going then, mm -hmm. they they repeated, yeah. you know, which was very, you know, very nice, very nice. But I like both. I mean, I love films. Let's face it. I mean, but there was nothing that can compare to the shoot of Thunderball. Nothing. Two months in the Bahamas. No way. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it's been a total pleasure talking to you this today. Um, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. And I wish you every success. And, well, I know you're sort of taking things a little bit easier now than what you had done previous years. Mm -hmm. But it's still great to see that you still have the charm and but the whole grace. You, you excuse have me, I'd like to return that compliment. You've been very enthusiastic and charming. Thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. <laughs>